Play. Joseph, as one of the other guys, what can you tell the younger guys who've never experienced a packed crowd on the road in the SEC? What can you tell them to help them about what it's like? Well, the good thing is, thank God they were on defense, so they won't be that loud as they try to be quiet so their offense could communicate. But as far as just telling some of the younger guys, like it's going to be a big environment, just don't get caught up in it, just stay focused on your alignment and your assignment and just do your job. Nick Roush. What's practice been like this week? Has there been much talk about kind of what went wrong or what went right Saturday, or has it been mostly focused on South Carolina? I mean, we always try to correct our mistakes when we come in on Monday and we watch the film no matter who we play. But right now, we just moved on to South Carolina. And just also, just also correct the little things that we do and how they want to use, as Coach White calls it, the crack. You know, they might take some that, uh, that Missouri did or – that Chattanooga did and implement and put it in their playbook. And so how we could uh, help stop them plays uh, and also the other plays that uh, South, Carolina, South Carolina likes to do. I'm curious on third down, sometimes it's lights out. I mean, they didn't get another one in the entire first half and then things change in the second half. Is there something to any of that? I mean, is it random? Well, what's the, what happens on the good and the bad with the third down defense? Well, the good part is, you know, that's everybody's doing their job. Everybody's lined up right. Everybody's doing their assignment to the best of their ability. The bad part is just probably one or two people not doing their job, and that's how, as Coach White uh, calls it, cracks happen or they get the first down or big plays happen. So we just got to stay consistent in doing our job, and we'll be just fine. John Clay? Yes, if you guys go into a stretch now, I think where you play seven straight SEC games, what, what do you know – what did you learn through these first three games about the defense that you didn't already know coming into the season about your defense? Say it again, my bad. What, what, what did you learn through these first three games about your defense that you didn't know when the season started? Uh, well, really, I knew that was a tough, tough, a tough defense. So, I mean – it's kind of about what I expected. Just we have to just start faster. That's one thing I would like for the whole defense, including myself as a leader, getting everybody out there ready. I think on every on every first drive besides Missouri, when the offense had the ball while we was on defense, uh, we let up a, a touchdown or a field goal. So we just have to come out with a little bit more urgency and uh, and just a little bit more fire. Anything else for Yusuf? John Wong, go ahead. Hi, Yusuf. Coach Quiet was talking about generating turnovers, and he stressed the importance of balance of some guy like you when, when you see a ball fluttering up there to either go for it or to kind of stay in your lane and take care of your assignments. Can you talk a little bit about what goes through your mind and how you're able to kind of remain disciplined during those situations versus trying to make the hero play? Well, uh it's t as far as making a hero play, I just do what Coach Luke always tells you. Be your primary job and the secondary do a little bit extra. So that's one of the big things. I mean, at the end of the day, defense is see ball, get ball. So if I see the ball in the air and it's in my area, go get it. I mean, at the end of the day, we got to make more turnovers. I think we only have two so far. I think we could have had a probably about six. I know we could have had probably four in the Missouri game, but some just didn't turn our way due to penalties. Or uh, I think I think JJ had a forced fumble. They fell on it. And things like that. So at the end of the day, it's see ball, get ball, and we just got to do a better job of creating turnovers. Has there been any more emphasis on that this week as opposed to the other weeks, or is that just something that's always, always at the forefront of your mind? It's always been a forefront of everybody's mind. I mean, we practice every day. We have this turnover circuit that we do before practice. So it's always on the coach's mind and the player's mind. So how many do you think we'll get on Saturday? <laughs> Probably two or more. Thank you. Okay, it looks like there's no more questions. So, Yusuf, thanks for your time. We'll let you go. All right, thank you.